Where are them up? Couple, How come they... A couple of ref whistles in there. Yeah, Beep. I mean, these songs from the 90s or the 80s, how come there isn't a replay? Is somebody trying to replace those? Do you think those yeah. songs will ever be replaced? They, they have been. We just don't listen to that, that crappy-ass music, so... We I mean, at the it. games. I mean, like at the sports games. You know, they oh, play fucking games? Crazy Train oh. and everything else. Yeah, you know, that's true. Like, we are talking about the... the uh, yeah. They do the Aussie... Yeah. Oh! Right. Yep. <laughs> over and over again. Yeah, uh, right. Yeah, I don't think they'll ever be replaced. They, I think they may add a few. Um, Paradise City, play the shit out of that. Right. Yeah. They may add a few because, you know, Pepsi or whatever hate them too. But, like, maybe, you know, some Justin Timberlake, can't stop the feeling, something like that. Mm-hmm. But it's going to be, they'll, I don't think they'll ever get rid of the. I think it. Depends on what size arena it is, too, and what kind of sporting event. Mm-hmm. Because I went and saw the Admirals, and they played White Zombie and shit. <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah, like they were playing Thunder Kiss. That's awesome. Oh, yeah, it was, that but it's hockey. Stoked. You know what I mean? Mm. Like it's... That's true. That's right, true. it's hockey. So, like, you looked around, and you're like, where is everybody? Yeah, like basketball, I mean, they're going to play hip-hop, probably. Mm. Or rap. Football, they're going to play Paradise City and fucking Ozzy. There you have it. All right. Let's fucking do it. <sighs> Lazy man. The size of that fat. Fucking... This episode of the Red Eye Report, we talk about superstitions. Ever wonder why we think black cats are bad? Or why your life is fucked if you break a mirror? <laughs> We've got you covered. With me tonight is the king of superstition mystic he's so goddamn superstitious he can't leave the house without shitting his pants and rubbing tabasco sauce on his nipples 17 times counterclockwise so yeah that's yeah. what you call fucking dedication counterclockwise dedication. right we also have ashtray he's the tits of mustard tits of ha <laughs> <laughs> ha that's right. Whole grain, uh, baby. Whole grain whole mustard. Whole grain mustard. And finally, we have Teddy. He's superstitious of white people. Also known as having common sense. <laughs> common sense. Mm-hmm. And I'm the Oracle, and I will be leading this shit show for the remainder of the evening. So, so strap on. I was, I was yeah, strap it on. When did we get here. subtitles? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> on, on our feed, I, I have subtitles now. Oh, Auto-generated, aren't they? Uh, yeah, I think, um, I think Facebook at least does that now. Oh, fuck it. Fucking Zuck is actually typing that out for us as yeah, we speak. Yeah, he's saying right, that they right. censor our yeah, we'll <laughs> slander. I don't know. Maybe. Oh. So, superstitions. I was watching a thing. So... The Packers fucking lost this weekend. They yep. should have won the goddamn game. Fucking um, Obama. Yeah, fucking Obama did some of his voodoo shit, and he that's made what, the that's Packers what lose. When you don't score over turnovers. Yeah, I know. He, I mean, he, and yeah. Don't, and you don't go for it at four, on fourth and six in the fourth quarter with three yes. minutes left to go. Yeah, yes. they don't. Yeah. They don't fucking put out the swear words. I'm, I'm watching it. <laughs> so. The Packers deserve to lose that game. Yeah, They only lost by five points. They could have won it, but I was pretty fucking bummed out because the Packers had a great team this year. Uh, and I don't know. Like Aaron Rodgers is talking like he doesn't know what he's going to be doing next season. Oh, they shut up. He'll be back. That. He'll be back. Okay, well, anyway. Brett so, Favre did that shit for like I'm five like straight take years. take my ball somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get back here, you dumb son of a bitch. So, after being pissed off about that, I started to watch some um, documentaries on uh, ESPN+. And the um, first one I watched was about Michael Vick, which um, <laughs> that guy, you know, he made some poor decisions, but I think he's a good dude, <laughs> honestly. Um, and he got fucked over. They were just trying to, they were going to get that guy one way or another. Um, what did they have against him? Because well, he's good. Yeah, because he was a good black quarterback from the hood. That was like 
phenomenal compared to everybody else on the field. Uh, yeah, I forget that too. He's quarterback, black quarterback. Right. He was like the the best one uh, by far at that point. We're out to get him. Time. But um, so anyway, these were helping me feel a little bit better about the Packers loss. And I heard about this documentary called Catching Hell. Which but racism made you feel better about the Packers loss? No, no, no. no. <laughs> so I was watching uh, no. documentaries. Uh, the institution did. I, I, I know, but I mean, the, what the documentary was about and how they fucking right. got a so, black man. That, so, that made you feel better about the fucking. So I watched another one, Teddy, about a white man. Everything isn't about the black man. About a white man that got fucked over um, who was named Steve Bartman. Um, he was a fan. And yeah, but he fucked over a lot of Mexican people, so he, that's just as racist. He fucked over a, a lot of people, and basically, he was this guy in the stands during the playoffs um, uh, of the Cubs. He was right on the wall. They hit a, a foul ball, and he basically prevented it from being caught out by the Cubs player, which they could have won the game. Uh, because of that. And then the Cubs subsequently went to have like eight runs scored on them. Um, yeah, and they lost the, they the lost game. Because of it. Yeah, like pretty bad. And the fucking crowd went insane. Like they were going to kill this guy. Yeah. And he had to go into hiding for like the next decade. Well, yeah, it was like the only shot they had in the, the right. last 107 years or some shit. So, right. But here's the thing. This is what <laughs> this is what brings me to superstition. So the reason why they were so fucking crazy about this is because they had all this superstitious stuff um, with the Cubs. So it started with the curse of the Billy Goat. Um, apparently, uh, during the 1945 World Series, uh, this guy, this bar owner, um, had a goat <laughs> with him at the fucking game, and people were complaining about it. He had to leave. So he cursed the fucking Cubs. So <laughs> this here's this curse because of this goat. Ugh. Then in 1969, um, they're in a division race. They were going against the Mets, and a black cat comes out onto the field, and everybody's like, "Oh my god, it's the fucking, fucking curse!" Oh my god! <laughs> and they there's get nothing their, they can do about it but right. hiss. They get their fucking asses kicked <laughs> as a result. Same thing with the Steve Bartman mm -hmm. thing. Okay, so when that happened, the series wasn't finished yet. They still had another game to play. But all the players and everybody they interviewed them for this documentary. They're like, "Yeah, we honestly we booked our flights for the Dominican Republic already because we knew th that we were going to fucking lose." Because of this curse, because got of superstitions. Yeah, it totally yeah. got into their heads. And it made me, it's like, Jesus Christ, this is fucking you over so bad because you're so worried about the superstitious shit. The, the foul ball that was caught for that game, a local restaurant, a Harry Carey restaurant, bought that ball for $100,000 and destroyed it by electrocuting it, boiled the fucking fibers and made a <laughs> pasta sauce out of it and fed it oh my God. to everybody in the restaurant. Yes. So, superstitions. Cubs fans like are Like the definitely... curse of the Bambino? Yes, the wait, Bambino. Did, right? wait, did he do it? Did they, did, they, did they all eat the, the baseball willingly or did he fucking they did just it like willingly. sneak it in the pasta? Yeah, they oh, did yeah. it they willingly. Strain it into the sauce or something? Yeah, they, and they put weren't it in the... literally eating the stitches, were they? No, no, they like boiled it and strained it into the sauce and fucking ate it. And that's how they thought they were going to get rid of the curse. Now, the Cubs did end up winning uh, the World Series in, like, 2000, what, 15, yeah. 16? I was yeah, glad was they could finally stop 16, fucking... I think it was. Yeah. Yeah, but that was, yeah, but that was witchcraft, not superstition. <laughs> yeah. So, some other yeah. superstitions stuff from sports that um, I didn't know about. So, Michael Jordan, I didn't realize this, but he would actually wear his North Carolina shorts underneath his Bulls shorts. Yeah, I've heard that. Uh, for good luck, oh. which I thought was uh, really interesting. <clears throat> and uh, Serena Williams, she's another athlete, so she won't change her socks. If she's on a roll, if she's winning, 
she will not change her socks. They're her lucky socks, and she's not washing those those things. Nasty. Um, yeah, right. Yeah. I, these are these are pretty mild uh, compared to some of them. This one guy, this Glenn Hall, who was a goalie uh, in the NHL, looks like he was a goalie for the Indians. He uh, had to puke before every game. He would have a bucket, and if he did not puke, he would have a bad game. So he started five hundred and two consecutive games. Isn't that a, a hockey team? Or am I no, thinking baseball? baseball team. You think baseball team? Yeah, baseball. Uh, Blackhawks. The Cleveland Indians. Blackhawks. Yeah, the Blackhawks. Yeah, yeah the Black Blackhawks. Chicago Blackhawks. So. Yeah, Chicago <laughs> Blackhawks. So these are some of the superstition things, and. You know, they think that a lot of these stem um, from uh, religion, a lot of them from pagan uh, religion before Christianity, like knock on wood. We knock yeah. on wood because um, that was thought when you would knock on the trees that that's where the spirits were and that you were invoking the spirits. That's why you're knocking on wood uh, in order to do that. And this is why humanity is all this throwing thing. salt over your right shoulder. Yeah, when you throwing spill it. salt over your shoulder. So let's talk about some of these. So lucky horseshoes. Um, lucky horseshoes. Yeah. I, I never have you guys seen that, that before? A lucky yeah. horseshoe. Yeah. Like in the house? You, you yeah. have to keep it. Don't you have to keep it up, up? Because if you turn it up, upside down, the luck will spill out. Yeah. Isn't that the the thing about it? Yeah. Why they hang it on the door? The yeah. Knocker. Yeah. So the the uh, origin of the superstition. Uh, and this is from mysterycurious.com. Yeah. Oh, like a weird swinger source. The real, trusted, the the real right. trusted source. source. So, uh, <laughs> authoritarian source. I'm going to get some dicks here. <laughs> <laughs> There's this story of St. Dunstan who once saw a devil and recognized it and warned it never to enter a house which has a horseshoe hung outside. Oh. So there Who you go. They, the just, devil? they just listened, huh? They just, they just fucking listened. They just called that devil. Devil so just listened. He's right. like, devil's okay, like, well, cool. Shit. All right. Yeah, right? This guy so, seems legit. Yeah. <laughs> Next time I see a devil, it's like, to get fucked. Oh, okay. Well, get <laughs> also, they mention on here that blacksmiths were considered to be, you know, very important people uh, during their time in the communities. So uh, they were highly regarded, and uh, I guess that could be a reason why. They adopted this. Uh, lucky rabbit's foot. Uh, I don't think I've ever had a lucky rabbit's foot. They, just, I always wonder, were like, those just, always fake or were they real? I mean, just, those ones you I, buy. I think, they're all, I think they're fake. But they're I mean, probably they're all fake diff- now. I mean, yeah, but it's just weird having them on your keychain. It's just fucking people. I don't like that hair feel. I don't like fake hair. I don't, <laughs> I'm not a fan of fake hair. I, I like fucking fake. hate fake hair. Okay, so it is, it's a... <laughs> the orig- origin of this superstition can be traced back to totemism, a theory stating that every human has evolved from an animal. Uh, <clears throat> rabbits, among other animals, have always been associated with fertility and prosperity. Okay, and uh, originally African-American, the tradition of carrying a rabbit's foot has spread to other parts of the world. Oh, really? We started it. Way to go. Yeah, there you go. So you better get a fucking well, rabbit's Teddy, foot. Teddy, be proud there. of that. I'm not going to chase down and shop. <laughs> I got it, Ma. I got it. <laughs> so black cats. I, I feel like that's a, a big one. At, and that's the image that we have on our, our stream today is the black cat. And apparently this was surprising to me because I thought that this was like a, a black plague thing where this had happened. Is they blame the cats. It was actually the fleas. So the origin of this superstition can be traced to ancient Egypt. So back then, their goddess Bast was a female black cat. Christians at that time, wanting to eradicate all other religions from society, convinced people that black cats were demons. Christians did this? Yep, the Christians did it. Thus, a black cat crossing someone's path began to be considered as evil, a barrier in one's way to heaven. I, mean, I blame Mel Gibson. <laughs> Fucking Mel Gibson, man. <laughs> Mel That's Gibson. Who I blame. <laughs> Sneaky bastard. A fucking piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> um, there's the walk under a ladder. Uh, I, and it, I guess it has something to do with the fucking Holy Trinity or some bullshit. 
But I've always, always felt that walking under a ladder is just not a good idea. <laughs> Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Like, just, don't, why would you, right? Why like, would that's, you walk under a just ladder? Just go around. Well, just because, go around. Yeah. because it's a shortcut, bro. Dude, yeah, it's, it's, it's safe. It's safe to go under. You know what? It's, if he if he no. falls, breaks his back, that's his problem. He should have put a ladder up, okay? He should not have put a ladder in the way. Just walk straight through. I just feel like it, it's things. so many things could go wrong. Just fucking go right. around the goddamn ladder. <laughs> Okay, breaking a mirror. This is definitely uh, definitely one. So uh, the origin of this superstition stems from the belief that your reflection in the mirror represents your soul or self. Breaking of the mirror would cause the self to break, indicating that bad luck is near. Oh, okay. shit. Uh, I didn't realize How this, but there is the actually the a, a remedy to ward this ill luck away. Some people believe that if broken pieces are buried underground, bad luck can be kept at bay. Okay, um, I believe I I saw this. Okay. Uh, my, I, my neighbors are gonna think I'm burying a body, digging in my backyard with a shovel. Right. Yeah. I, I'm just trying to get rid of some luck. It's not trying to win out. the lottery, man. I saw on a uh, another website. I believe this is ancient Greece that this originates. Ancient Greece or possibly Rome. Same neighborhood. And Travis, actually, he said, if it's safe enough to stand on, okay. referring to the ladder, it should be safe enough to walk under. All right, that's a fair enough point. It's a fair yeah, point. But, I think, but yeah. what happens if you Shortcuts. trip and hit the little fucking brace in the middle right? and the ladder fucking folds yeah, out and then you both get hit? Dunces who should, bro. Like, stay away from ladders. <laughs> just you don't, be just don't even trades. go near it. Just don't even go near it. Get out of here, yeah. Get out of the work site. All right, we the have, guy stands and holds that stop sign. We have the unlucky <laughs> thirteen. This is definitely uh, something that I've heard of. So apparently, ancient e Egyptians associated the number thirteen with death. Uh, thirteen. This is the one that I've heard of the most. Is uh, how many people were seated at the Last Supper? Yeah, that's the um, one I heard. So you can't have thirteen people sitting around the same table. Don't sky. Don't high rise buildings not have 13th they floors they actually skip the 13th floor yeah and they go to the 14th floor they always really? do well i don't know if they always do. i don't know if they <laughs> always say, do but that sounds almost that, every that, building yeah. that sounds like does. sounds that a little sounds like waste top <laughs> look it up yeah. look it up yeah. hold on i'm looking it up it I'm isn't Googling wasteful it. they're just changing the number not that they're, 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 they're for height. Yeah, it's for not height. like they just it, cut the whole. It's, it's not like it's building. It's not like they have the fucking floor and they just don't use it. <laughs> <laughs> it's wasteful. I think I've been in a wasteful. few elevators that had uh, <laughs> that had you know a thirteenth floor. All right, sure we also we have sure. we have spilling salt. Uh, this is Mystic, definitely. Did you nice. find it? Yeah, well, you look for it, Mystic. Oh, well, yeah, continue while he's looking. Um, is that just stop demon salt? Spilling salt. So the superstition might have a, uh, uh, originated from the idea of discouraging wastage of salt. So don't spill the goddamn <laughs> salt. It's expensive uh, because it used to be very hard to come across. So... Uh, uh, and also, the roots of the superstition can be traced to the Last Supper. A lot of shit happened during the Last Supper. I think they were just tripping on fucking shrooms. On. <laughs> fucking Dan Brown was there taking notes. <laughs> Some people believe that Judas, the betrayer of Jesus, had spilt salt during the supper. Damn, Judas. And of course, you can uh, remedy this Dude. by throwing it over your shoulder. Into so that eyes. was... Right, that was a way to protect you, right? Is a throw yeah. of salt over your shoulder. So, isn't that just as wasteful as spilling salt? <laughs> no, no, that you have to throw it over your shoulder if you have spilled it. If you oh. just throw it over your shoulder, you're a fucking asshole. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so if you spill it, you gotta then scoop it up and like, oh fuck, just right. To be you safe. gotta throw it over your shoulder. No harm, no foul. Uh, does, does the shoulder you throw it over matter? Is it like left or right? Does it matter? I. 
don't believe so, but uh, according to this fucking weird swinger website, <laughs> but I'm sure somebody swinger else out there has uh, a different take on it. Okay, opening an umbrella indoors. This is definitely one that I've heard of. So it's supposed to be bad luck. Um, and it came from ancient Egypt, and it was said that opening an umbrella in the shade was considered to be an insult to the sun god. Opening an umbrella sun god an insult to my fair white skin. <laughs> would also mean disrespecting the spirits in the house, as the umbrella open for protection would imply that the shelter provided by the household was insufficient. So, go fuck yourself, bitch ass so, spirits. What, my roof not um, good enough? So, yeah. Um, started way back in the day. They don't really know exactly when, but 13 is commonly omitted. Uh, and they just skip right to 14. Although some cities have banned the practice. Uh, right here in 2002, based on an internal review of records... Otis Elevators estimated that 85% of the buildings with Otis brand elevators did not have a floor named the 13th floor. Wow. Oh, 80%. Shit. Vancouver city planners, though, have banned the practice of skipping it since it could lead to mistakes by first responders. Right. Mm. So, yeah. Wow. <laughs> and the most common reason is triskaidekaphobia. Deskaphobia. Mm. I can't even say it. Yeah, that's fear like the, fear the number 13. Of the number 13. Yeah. So uh, it was the Romans <clears throat> with the mirror sneezing. So we say God bless you or bless you because it was thought that when you sneezed, you were potentially losing your soul. Your soul could escape your body. <laughs> I have a few of those sneezes here, sometimes. Soul. <laughs> I've heard that. You're then like, oh, God, you got to go eat, try and yeah. get yourself up. Got a lot of soul on that one right there. Yeah. <laughs> Deep down in there. Ah, looks all ashy. Okay, so uh, here are some other superstitions from around the world. Uh, these are things that many of these I hadn't heard of. Um, Chupacabra? They kill a lot of goats. So apparently in India, um, trimming your nails at night is bad luck. So don't fucking trim your <laughs> nails at night. In Russia, putting... Hiding uh, empty bottles on the ground or putting empty bottles on the ground is good luck. Apparently, this um, covers for them being alcoholics. And right. It's, <laughs> right. It stems from not having to throw their shit away. Right. Just while soldiers, sure. while they were in Paris, um, they were able to save money on alcohol by hiding their empty bottles on the ground rather than leaving them on the table as they were being charged by the empty bottles they left behind. Uh, uh, what? They your match the fact? That's ridiculous. I guess. Right? I don't know. It doesn't seem like very that good. That bartender business lost his business. Oh. You're an idiot. Okay. Apparently, in the UK, you uh, want to say the word "rabbit" on the first day of the month. The first thing you say on the first day of the month is "rabbit, rabbit." You'll have good right, luck so. for the rest of it. Rabbit, yeah. Rabbit. You've heard you of that before. Seen... Yeah, well, I've have you ever seen the show uh, Spaced? It's like the oh, first yeah. show that um, they say show. it in there. Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. Forgot about that. Hmm. Um. Yeah. What's his face? There's Simon Pegg. Simon Pegg. Yeah. yeah. Um. This seems like a bad idea, especially in Brazil. Uh, Brazil, leaving your wallet or purse on the ground. So placing That's good your luck or <laughs> seems like bad luck. Placing yeah, your wallet or purse on the ground in Brazil is said to bring bad financial luck. Well, obviously. obviously. Yeah, because it's Brazil. They're going to rob you. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> cutting your balls off in Brazil probably <laughs> brings yeah. bad luck also. But I mean. I want to go to Rio de Janeiro, but I want yeah, to run, so. Also <laughs> known as losing your wallet. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, just cheat. Okay. Where'd my purse go? I set it down. Oh, what uh, you it? So apparently in Serbia, uh, it is a common Serbi Serbian superstition to believe that spilling water behind someone will bring them good luck. People will often spill some water behind a loved one who is about to go on a trip or job interview. 
in order to wish them luck. Right? And then your wife's like, you better get around. down there and wipe that up. Like yeah, they, they, spill it, they spill it, and you're like, oh, I forgot my keys. Turn around, and you fall flat on your fucking <laughs> yeah. face. Kill yourself. In Portugal... Or, I would you, be the husband who's just like, oh, honey, I, I just spilled that beer for good, for good luck. <laughs> for good luck, bitch. <laughs> in Portugal, it's really bad to fucking walk backwards. Oh, don't do it. Jackson never toured there. So allegedly, it lets the devil know where you are and where you're going. <laughs> Fucking watch out. Uh, uh, in Japan, Japan, uh, oh, you want to be a good one. People are often advised to tuck their thumbs into their fists when they're walking through cemeteries. Uh, yeah. In Japanese, the word for thumb directly translates to parent finger. And the legend warns that tucking your parent finger will protect your parents from death. That's why weird. the fucking Japanese live to what be is, so long. That just feels we so just don't weird. go to cemeteries. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's try to find... Uh, Mystic mentioned some goats. So we got Rwanda. Women eating goat meat. Uh... Local folk folklore advises women against eating goat meat because it allegedly causes facial hair growth as well Ugh. as stubbornness. That's where Bromhilda got her mustache. <laughs> so uh, I guess in uh, China, uh, they are wary of the number four. So the right. pronunciation of four yeah, in Chinese... Yeah, because they are two plus two equals five. In Cantonese, it is similar to the word for death. So people believe that this is bad news. Really? Yep. In Egypt, opening scissors without cutting anything. So it is considered unlucky to open and close scissors if you're not oh. actually cutting anything. Similarly, leaving scissors open is also said to bring bad luck. Yeah, because you yeah, fucking you slice your goddamn hand open on it. <laughs> so going back to the, so going back to the China thing, you say that for the number four is real close to death, right? Mm -hmm. Is it is it because the fucking having a fourth family member like made somebody's got to go because you're only you're only allowed to have <laughs> like one kid? One child. Is that could that be like a reason? Uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe. Uh, I thought this was interesting in South Korea. Many South Koreans will never sleep in a closed room with a fan on. It is commonly believed that prolonged exposure to fans causes hypothermia, loss of water in the body, body, and even asphyxiation. <laughs> body in the body. I can't come into work today. I was dehydrated by my fan. <laughs> so, well, I mean, Trump thinks they cause cancer, so right. Yeah, the right. big ones. <laughs> um. Yeah, so these are just a, a, a number of superstitions from around the world. Are do you guys have any superstitious things that you or your family have ever engaged? <clears throat> uh, I don't have any superstitious things. I, I guess I, I don't think it's superstitious. It is a superstition, but it's weird. I don't. Uh, I don't. Uh, the whole don't don't see your bride before the wedding thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, but apparently, uh, our, when we were meeting our, our, uh, our wedding planner, she asked us if we wanted to have a first look, which I didn't know what that was. I was like, what is a first look? And apparently, uh, people now are, before they walk down the aisle, after she gets dressed, everything, they, they come and see each other and then they go do the thing. So. Oh, that's been, the first look thing has been common where you, you don't see the bride in the dress until right before, or you have the photographer like specifically capture that moment. I think they've been doing that for a while. Was it? Yeah, well, I haven't been married in a while, so I didn't fucking know. <laughs> you and me. <laughs> so, yeah. Any other ones? Um, I, uh, I like to do the knock on wood. I don't know why, but like, I'm one of those things I say when I know I'm gonna probably put my foot in my mouth. Mm -hmm. Knock on wood. Hope your boyfriend doesn't catch me and punch me out. Yeah. <laughs> How about you, Mystic? <laughs> No. <laughs> Except the, the bass. Any superstition about none. Your Except for those bath salts. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> I'm definitely not uh, definitely not superstitious. I'll wear like a, a jersey or something, um, but that's about as far as I'll I'll go with the superstition thing. I mean, I just think it's ridiculous. Like with the Cubs thing, I mean, you, they were mentally fucking themselves over because they were so worried yeah. about this shit. You know, yeah. um, one thing that I. There, I found a, an interesting video that was talking about the origins. It's in the outline. It'll be on our website uh, for the web, uh, the episode. But they they asked, like, why do these things stick around and how do they get around the world? And they said that it really, uh, we can blame our parents for fucking us up. Um, <laughs> so it, let's say you don't feel super, like, strongly about walking under a fucking ladder, even though Tra- Travis says that it's okay. Um, if your parents stop you when you are a child, they say, well, maybe we shouldn't do this. That's enough to influence you where it's just as easy for you not to do it as it is you right. know, for you to do it. So you might as well just not do it. And I feel well, like yeah. that's you how don't I think am. Kid, I mean, kids in France probably don't give a fuck about ladders. Right. You yeah, know what I'm saying? It's, but but at the same French time, ladders. they probably like only eat cheese ladders. with their left hand on Thursdays or something. French stupid, ladders you know? are made of bread. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking baguettes nailed uh, together. Baguettes. <laughs> <laughs> Not even nailed together, just hardened butter. <laughs> oh, yeah, butter. that's pretty good. Let it dry. <laughs> oh, yeah. Travis said, don't step on a crack. I forgot about that. Yeah, one. that's a, that's you definitely break one. Back. Right. You break your mama's back. All right. So that's it for superstitions. Yep, Steve Bartman and the Cubs. That was the big one uh, that got me on this, David. You're All right, come with an axe. You're yeah, that's. Oh yeah, there's a good story you. about that. Okay, so we were in a band, and my first day coming to practice, Mystic and I were in a band. My first day coming to practice, the drummer was like locked in the practice room, and he wouldn't open the fucking practice room for me and the door was all beat to shit and like the mail slot was like hanging and i'm like what dude what's going on he's like dude is he still out there and i'm like what the fuck are you talking about like yeah i was playing and this guy like went insane and started beating the door with a baseball bat well, it turns out that guy was a squatter in the office space where we were practicing and he was reacting to the Steve Bartman play. <laughs> yeah, he was a big insane. Cubs fan. Yeah, he was a Cubs fan. And that's how insane he went. Yes, this was Synchro. You got fucking hammered. <laughs> yeah, you got hammered. Fucking went to fucking <laughs> passes out. Here comes Chris at like 11 o'clock at night fucking <laughs> beating on his fucking drums. Because there was like, what, six? seven apart or six seven offices yeah in like this building. office spaces yeah and there was nobody supposed to be nobody in there so we would go after like six seven o'clock at night anytime and we could practice right so that's what chris thought but this dude got fucking pissed he was like beating the door down with a bat and shit dude <laughs> yeah so i never knew about the connection until i was like dude have you i asked these guys about the steve bartman thing and they're like yeah and mr's like that's what let the beatings begin was yeah, about the name of our album was about that <laughs> i never listened begin. to the lyrics <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right wow. so next up we have uh what's sexy where we tell you what is sexy in this world and let's start with Teddy and The Stand. Uh, so I am listening to The Stand right now uh, by Stephen King. Uh, this is the longest book I've listened to. Uh, it's 47 hours. God damn. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, isn't that Jesus book like fuck. fucking 15 well, here's the thing. Well, here's the thing. I did not know the version that I got. Um, there's a there's like a, 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 pre, a prefix, pre thing before with a, that does read by Stephen King. And he says that uh, the original – this is a, a, an extended version of the book. In the original version of the book, uh, they, they said the, uh, the the publishers told him it was too long, so they, they asked him to take out 400 pages. So he Damn. did. Damn. <laughs> right. So, so in, 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 this, in this version, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's supposed to be more backstory and, and other things. Uh, so is this I, like I the fully the unabridged version? <laughs> uh, so, sort of. He said he didn't put all 400 pages in, but he did, he did put a lot of them in. 
So it's 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 uh, but it's a it's an awesome book. Uh, the way uh, it starts out with a vibe. I don't know if you all ever seen the fucking. Uh, seen I remember seen the, shows seeing the yeah. fucking TV miniseries. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I, I kind of want to watch the CBS one. That's why this what got me on this uh, to to mm-hmm. listen to this one, uh, because people are saying it's actually pretty good. Uh, the, uh, the the way that the it's the virus in the in the book that starts everything is kind of similar to like it's kind of similar to the coronavirus except it's, it got just got way worse and I, it, it's kind of made it had me thinking like you know it, it yeah I, I, I would wear a mask all the fucking time uh, I mean it's, it was very got I mean, it was me thinking very... not to get vaccinated <laughs> 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 yeah but it's it's uh, it's uh, I am I am seventeen hours in. <laughs> the book is getting real cool, and it is Stephen King. So it's, yeah, yeah, it's a, it's fucking awesome. I listen, I, I listen to books more than I more than I listen to music now. Mm. Um, yeah, it's got my son reading. My, yeah, my, my son, yeah, it is actually my son. Got my son reading that Ronald Dahl. Uh, after listening to Charlie and Chocolate Factory, uh, he's been reading up a storm. Ronald Dahl, or Ronald Dahl, whatever. Ronald, Donald, not, Donald. Ronald McDonald Dahl. I thought it was Ronald Dahl. Ronald. Ronald Dahl. Whatever. Ronald Dahl. Raw doll, whatever. Don't Ronald don't dog be, in it? don't be upset. That <laughs> there was a producer at where I work who called him Ronald Doll. Yeah, I thought it was Ronald Doll. I'm gonna look that shit up. I was like, dude, that's Ashtray's fuck doll's big... name. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Ronald a big Ronald clown fucking <laughs> Yeah, but it's uh, I'm at the part where the book's starting to get good. Shit's starting to go down. The virus is spreading quick than a motherfucker. Imagine like being. Imagine being. Such a prolific writer that you could write a book, and seventeen fucking hours into it is where it starts to get good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, right. yeah, the guy's like, a like people are reading it, and they're just like, "I know it's gonna get good." When? <clears throat> oh, here. I mean, okay, it's, it's, about it's been, right here. It's been good before, but it's starting to get. This is. I mean, I'm, I'm at a part where they where the virus is spreading, and the government can't really hide it anymore. And like a, a, the, at the, it's a, a scene at the at a campus where they they're quarantined all these kids at a campus, and the yeah. kids are like, "Well, fuck this, this is America," and they start to leave, and the yeah. army just starts blowing them down because you can't. Act get... two is what you're saying. Yeah, it's fucking. What you say, yeah. Sister Act two? No, you've okay. hit Act two. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sister fucking two, Stephen yeah. King. I don't know what if you've be... seen pictures of him back in the day. That dude did a lot of fucking cocaine. That dude is on a lot of drugs. <laughs> yeah. He'll even admit that shit. <laughs> right? <laughs> what a fucking life. All right. He's a hell of a writer, oh, man. He's fucking... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's easily the most prolific writer in the history of anything. Right? Yeah. Okay, uh, next up we have Mystic with Miracle Workers. All right, this is a show. It's on TBS. I'm watching it on HBO. They put the seasons on there. Uh, It's based on a series of books. Well, not a series, really. It's based on different works by the same author, author, Simon Rich, who's a humorist. Um, The first season is basically, it's a god. Imagine heaven as a gigantic corporation. So there's, like, departments of everything, like... Departments of the penis, departments of genitals. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> the department. Yeah, like anything that you can imagine, there's a department for it. And these angels all do tiny little menial jobs. Hmm. So, like, you work in dirt, basically. You just kind of push dirt around and create new <laughs> drains of dirt and shit. You know what I mean? And like, yeah, there's, and that's, that's the thing. Like, they just live medial menial lives and shit like there's one scene it's fucking hilarious they're doing like exit interviews because god's gonna blow earth up so they're like interviewing this this one chick's like yeah i work in nipples and like we made the male nipple it was this originally it was supposed to just spew out orange juice but we fucked it up somehow and then like Every day we just come in and we're like, like this is gonna be the day that we crack the nipple. No, and it never happens. And she's like, to be honest with you, I just I'm high all the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the type of humor that it is. It's like almost like The Office meets fucking. Is it a series or a movie? Like, it's a series, and each season is a different book by this guy, or based on a different book. So the second season, the first season, basically takes place in heaven. The second season takes place in a medieval fucking kingdom. Mm. Um, but it's the same actors. Mm-hmm. Like uh, the guy who plays Harry Potter, Daniel Radcliffe, Radcliffe. is one of the main characters. <clears throat> Steve Buscemi is another one. 
they all, you know, each book. I just, I kind of want to read this guy's books because they seem like they'd be fucking hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, this looks <clears throat> good. Um, and like in the in the medieval one, everyone has the name. Like that's what they do. Like fucking, uh, like like Steve Buscemi's name is like John Sho- uh, Shit Shoveler. Because <laughs> that's what he does. He just shovels shit. Uh, it's it's so funny. Nice. Anyway, so this is uh, where can people watch that? Uh, it's on HBO Max, and I I don't know if it's on Netflix or Hulu or anything like that. But TBS originally airs it. Okay, it's a TBS show. Okay, next up we have Ashtray. GameStop goes to the fucking moon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, did you see the uh, um, story about GameStop? So, uh, so uh, GameStop, the stock market um, rally was because a, a bunch of uh, Redditors in this um, subreddit were basically like, you know, well, fuck this, these this institutions who've who bought all these shorts on it's um, like Wall Street Bets and it the red that the name is yeah. Wall Street Bets or something like that. Um the institutions, institutional investors <clears throat> um are all trying to short GameStop because they think GameStop is uh <coughs> fucking you know a dead shell of its former self mm-hmm. and everybody's downloading games now. Nobody goes to malls anymore. Well, these <clears throat> redditors decided, well, let's just fucking start buying GameStop because if the stock goes up and they have a short position, the more it goes up, the more money they uh, yeah. they bleed out. The um, short people, the people that put in the shorts, right? Mm-hmm. The big company, the big investment firms that decided to short GameStop. Um. <clears throat> which is like where you you're it's basically a, a speculative um investment on the fact that you this company is going to go down right mm-hmm. well if it doesn't go down like in the movie the big short where they like when's the housing market going to crash then they were like bleeding money for a while yeah. in that movie <clears throat> it's a, a same thing what they did is they basically all just uh like encourage each other through the robin hood app to uh start buying up the uh uh GameStop so because of all the interest in the purchasing of it it just started shooting up through the roof which was like i think they the peop- the institutions that had shorts on it lost 14 billion dollars god damn shut up holy are you fucking serious? shit mm-hmm. what collectively holy fuck wow. in one day um, <laughs> but the thing what? is you got to uh, also think, too, like how many of these people, you know, they call, they're they called retail investors now. The people who use like Robinhood app and they're um, it's going to be probably what the next, you know, um, bubble is kind of like where people were buying more than one house mm-hmm. in uh, the big short. Where this is now it's like anyone can get the Robinhood app <laughs> and just start making speculative uh, option buys. Which even when I so pretty know, much a bunch of stoners got together like man I like going to GameStop. Well, basically, yeah, beep, 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 they beep, beep, they influenced beep, the market. Beep, beep, beep. And, I mean, they didn't the do anything by their numbers, not necessarily <clears throat> yeah. by the money they have. Exactly, it was mm-hmm. by their sheer numbers. Um, which <laughs> you know, it's like of course these these investment firms are like, whoa, we should the SEC should we got to stop this campaign? It's like no, you know, it's like they they weren't. Uh, they weren't uh, giving out any misinformation. They were right. Very they were doing nothing illegal. They were doing. Yeah, they were doing, doing nothing, nothing illegal. illegal. They were just collectively mm-hmm. kind They're of giving using the system anger. against these fucking rich assholes, and I think it's yep. fucking hilarious. It is right. Um, granted, now some <laughs> of these guys might get, um, you know, people who g- jumped onto this train too late when it's like, oh shit, the stock's like sixty some bucks. Yeah, yeah, sure. right. They're gonna lose their ass when, too, like, yeah. it was just the other day. It was. Uh, it was around twenty dollars prior to that, and um, it's been I guess all year it's been bobbing between oh I can't remember what they said like three and ten dollars mm-hmm. um for most of the year um but yeah at one point it even got up above three hundred dollars 
Um, yeah. Yeah, it was, and, it was when, it, when we checked it, when I checked it at my job, it was at 86, and then when I checked it like two hours later, it was at like 146, it was yeah. like 143. Like, can you yeah. imagine, though, if you had jumped on that and, and, and just made like 10 grand, you know what I mean? <clears throat> yeah, but you would have Yeah, to, and then, you know, make 10 grand and hope to get your ass out while it's still going. Right, right that's yeah. what I mean, you'd yeah. have to get in and get out, but I mean, that's the whole yeah. point of it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, Talk the, the thing actual is, so value this, of the company. The sad, well, that's that's <laughs> the uh, the uh, bad, like the the devil's edge of the sword of this. So it's great that they're sticking it to the uh, big guys. Um, this isn't. <clears throat> it's basically playing games Except, with valuation. Say, getting in and getting out is it? That's, I, the, that's the thing, though. It's it's showing the weakness of the system that people think is the fucking king of the crop. Mm-hmm. Capitalism. <laughs> Right. You know the free market, it, and it's it needs to well, have some sort of. Yeah, and the the market values across <clears> the <throat> are kind of out of whack with like well, reality. I think, right. mm-hmm. I, think gonna, I think they're gonna. I think they're gonna that that I think they're gonna do this a couple more times, and then they and then they're gonna try to find a way to stop it. But I'm gonna save up some money. Oh yeah, next the rich time. white so people. Next, the rich white yeah. people will stop it somehow. Mm-hmm. We'll stop it somehow, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, I'm, I'm a, yeah, I'm gonna try to get on to the next one before it fucking. Well, that's the thing though. <laughs> it's like, it. yeah, I don't know. Like, <laughs> you read the. Uh, the more I've tried to understand how like short options work, you know, and like these, you know, these people do it. The more it just goddamn confusing it sounds, and the more it's just like, yup, Craig, you're just gonna <laughs> fucking lose a lot of money. Step back from yeah. that. <laughs> right. Yeah. I. Um... In the short run, this is hilarious. Right. You know, I don't want GameStop to go away. I think that yeah, there is a place for physical game it. stores. Um, and I, if, if they go away, then really um, kind of the big retailers or whatever, they can do whatever the fuck they want um, in terms yeah. of, you know, if there's no resale uh, market or anything like that, if you take that away, um, I've enjoyed some of the, yeah, trading shit in into GameStop is generally not a good deal, but they have oh, good. Oh fuck no, they they, they will, have good they will deals bid you on. Over. Yeah, they have good <laughs> deals on games. Um, and memorabilia discs. and everything yeah. else. Yeah. And also, they well, are the one thing. of the few yeah. places that has a game magazine, Game Informer, um, yeah. that you get as a membership to GameStop. So those are things well, that. I will actually. They need to kind of change their model a little. I yeah, think, they do. Too. They, they need to cater to. more toward younger. Right. They should almost start. Um, they should make it kind of hybrid like a, with almost a, an the arcade. board game stores. Like the board game arcade. stores are. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm ashamed to say I go, I go to games popular. about once a week. Yeah, I I appreciate <laughs> having a no, physical and you do, place and that's that I that's like, fine. But you know, like once people usually get. Older, they stop going there as much. You know what right. I mean? It seems Dude, like I'm, more I'm, of a kid I'm, I'm thing. Full, I'm but if they, but go, like, go, think about it. If week. GameStop was to fucking make like a hybrid arcade, oh, that would fucking be fucking video awesome. game store, like yeah. memorabilia shit. They, they, right. they, they just need to diversify like their fucking store. business model. Yeah. Right. I mean, but they you can, can easily can, survive. Now you can trade in like everything. You can trade in phones and tablets and shit. Right. Games yeah. Now. Can they can they yeah. do everything, man. They can, They got the fucking infrastructure already. They have the buildings. Yeah. I. You know. I think they need to get away from like the <laughs> junky ass. Like, bring in your fucking old cell phones and shit like that. Yeah. And yeah. lean more into yeah. the gaming fucking side of it. To, yeah. to get into more like the board game or get into reality, <clears throat> yeah, or yeah. something Red like that. Out, right. You know? Because those are the people that want to go there are fucking gamers. Right. Um, yeah. try, the thing is, a lot of these nerds yeah. might be caught with their pants uh, down with this if they jumped on this uh, fucking bandwagon too late and then tomorrow the stock goes down back down to 10 bucks. Well, well yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up we have... Break a few eggs, you want to make an omelet. Right. Try fucking uh, cryptocurrency trading. You'll have a lot of fun. There's definitely no regulation there. All right, so next up we have me with Real VR Fishing. This is a game... Yeah, how is this different from your other fishing game? Or is it the same one? It's not the same one. This is real. Yeah, this this one's real. Um, So this... 
is on the Quest 2. Uh, you can get it on Quest. I don't know if you can get it on PCR. Um, and I've got to say that this game surprised the fucking hell out of me. I wasn't really expecting a whole lot. Um, the graphics. But I bought it anyway. The graphics of this game are phenomenal. Phenomenal graphics. Um, they've done such a, a masterful job of using like photos, but they so when you use photos, you are not actually creating complex geometry, and that's the thing that is taxing um, on hardware when you're. So they've done this in a very realistic way, and they focused on little details. Like when you look off to the side, there's like little like clouds of mosquitoes flying around, or there are clouds of bats in the the night sky or in this one so, you can see there's a double <laughs> rainbow the hills are all um a flat photograph really yeah instead but of, it doesn't um, look like that like i can tell right. um that it is that but yeah they've done just a fantastic <laughs> job uh with this and it's a <clears throat> it feels great it's a hell of a lot of fun uh right now it's all in south korea there are, i something like 20 different locations in South Korea where you can Most fish. Most of are all South Korean places. Yeah, these are South Korean fish. places. But no they have, American lakes? Well, well, they have a map. I think uh, the company uh, is based in South Korea. They have a I, map I would where they're going to do DLC with that. But it was pretty cool. Tonight, I was actually streaming the game. Yeah, and, I saw you sitting there fishing. I was like, what the yeah. fuck is he doing? I, I was fishing, <laughs> and then I took my headset off, and one of the developers actually was uh, watching me. He's like, hey, thanks for fucking playing the game. I, I don't know if he's watching me. Like, I'm like, fucking shit. God damn it. I fucking lost the fish. <laughs> <laughs> but if you, this if you, game sucks. Yeah, right. If right. you crank up the uh, the difficulty, um, it, it gets a little... It, there's strategy. Like, if the fish jumps out of the water, you got to whip the pole to the other side, the tension of the line and everything. Like, there's this stuff that you have to do... Um, and it's it got cool upgrades and stuff like that. So real oh. VR fishing, uh, twenty bucks on the Quest Store. I think is it the, do the do the controllers Look vibrate or anything else? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Fishing. Okay. Okay. Because fishing, you got it. You got to have oh, yeah. a feel for the. Yeah. No. It's, fishing oh, okay. your pajama pants. No. You. You definitely. Uh. You definitely. The vibration and everything. Uh. It. The feedback feels great when you're doing this. They, <clears throat> they've done a fantastic okay. job. Honestly, if you sit an old person down with this game, you are absolutely going to blow their fucking minds. Yeah, they're going to drool all over <laughs> it. Right? right? They will this is like the killer app that you want to show fucking grandpa uh if he can still see with his eyes right. because you need that for VR. But maybe your dad or something like that. <laughs> um really good. So uh yeah, definitely Yeah, I can check see my out. dad uh it totally being into this. It looks great, <laughs> especially on on the the quest, the quest two. You can actually turn up the graphics um, through side quest. It looks really, really sharp when you do. That. All right, uh, moving on to the fuck what you think. This is where we tell you to go fuck yourself and things that piss us off in the world that we have nothing, uh, no power to change. We can just bitch about Shit. it. And uh, first up, we have Mystic with disorganization. Yeah, again, I'm going to bitch about the station I work at because the management are quite literally the dumbest people <laughs> that I've ever seen manage anything. <clears throat> I don't think Jim, the, the news director, is that dumb. He just doesn't know what he's doing. So Packers are playing Sunday, right? Two o'clock. We have a pregame. So Jim is the news director. And besides the general manager, he's the dude in the building that makes the most money. You know what he came in to do? He came in to run the jib camera. What's the jib camera? The camera that moves around, the main camera on our set. Like, the move, the, he was running a fucking camera, someone you paid 12 bucks an hour mm -hmm. to do. Yeah when he could be helping in other areas. But he's a fucking idiot. <laughs> he doesn't know how to fucking work any of our software. He doesn't write scripts. You know what I mean? How is, he's the director? 
Yeah, and he's the fucking news director. How'd he get there? Yeah, how, 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 I mean, how does he get? I mean, because he's the good old boy, just like the general oh, manager. They're forever. fucking yeah, they're Trump supporting fucking Republican cunts. Rootin' tootin', you do yeah. for a Fox affiliate station. Yeah, and the general <laughs> manager. So then the general manager. Okay, and then here's the second thing. So it's fucking two. The game starts at two o five, and I shit you not, at one fifty five. Jim comes into the sports office after the fucking post game thing was done. And he asks Brandon, the sports anchor, can we use highlights in the post game? Okay, this is an what? NFC championship game. It's this didn't sneak up on you. You know <laughs> what I mean? This didn't just come out of fucking nowhere. You've known about this for over a week. Right. And you're just fucking now asking somebody. If you can use highlights, that... Brandon's like, no, we can't use highlights. We've never used highlights because it doesn't take place uh, during a regular scheduled news time. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So you would have to get special permission from the NFL. OK, so <laughs> after Brandon tells him that he has to go call the general manager and talk to a corporate lawyer from Fox just to make sure. Well, then why uh... the fuck did you even ask? Brandon and waste his time, dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then later on, so I, I worked fucking 13 hours on Sunday because these idiots don't know how to schedule. They didn't even ask me until the day before if I could come in early, right? So I fucking go in at, to like noon. No, it was 11 o'clock. I went in at 11. And 11.15 11, at night, the general manager calls fucking calls up and he's like, hey, I saw this uh, sound that Aaron Rodgers said after the game. And they ran it on ABC, but we never ran it. So he made the fucking, the guy who was Tim, our main sports dude, pull the cameras back out up in Green Bay and record a fucking another in and out for a package put together for the morning about stoking the flames about Aaron Rodgers leaving the Packers. You know oh, what I mean? Jesus. Like just to push that fucking like, that that whole button, that new cycle button. Uh -huh. So he made me stay 45 minutes later than I was supposed to be there. The fucking, oh, uh, dude, I fucking. Did you give him one? There you no. have it. Ah! Obviously not. Back scenes of the newsroom. I fucking hate that place. <laughs> <laughs> I, fucking, oh, I do. I fucking hate it. No, it's still the best job I've ever had. I just, <laughs> I hate the fucking, I hate the managers. They're such that's idiots. The way any, that's the way my job is, too. It's like, I, you know, sometimes it's like, why the fuck am I still here? But it's like, it's the best job I've ever worked at. I got too many perks. Right. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I, like, I love really my well. job, dude. It's fucking awesome. We get the fuck of white people. <laughs> I know, it's our white problems. I fucking hate our jobs, but they're so good. <laughs> yeah. no, like, my job is fucking fun. I, I, yeah, it's... <laughs> All right, next anyway. up, we have Ashtray with Let's Let the Cool College Kids Vaccinate the Public. Derp. Uh, yeah. The, uh, so Philadelphia um, apparently let this, <clears throat> scoozy, um, this startup group called Philly Fighting COVID, um, self-described group of college kids that basically had no healthcare experience um they they had um basically were given the um i guess contract you say to to like set up all these um vaccination stations in Philadelphia and they're like all these seniors signed up and like this um i guess it turned into like there was a problem with the uh registration software so all these people like in their fucking 80s and 90s are in line with a piece of paper printed out waiting for their vaccine and they were told no we're sorry actually there's no vaccines for you here <clears throat> and these were just like college kids just like Hurp. then i guess the the leader he's like only 22 years old um he uh what the fuck is his name he uh <clears throat> was caught um or, or basically he he snuck like some vi he basically just took some vials for himself and there was some <laughs> snapchat video 
where it's like, you know, at a you know private party or whatever. Oh, they're just God. like, oh, here you are vaccinating people. And <clears throat> these fuckers, all they were is a college group that started where they're like, we'll help out with the with the, the frontline workers and we're going to 3D right. print these face shields. Look at all these 3D printed face shields that probably never were used. <clears throat> you know, but it's just like, oh, yeah, th- thanks. That's great. Um, but they're basically just kind of like an online, you know, like Facebook group mm-hmm. um, that's uh, run by a graduate student. Um, what the fuck is his name? Uh, Andre or Andrea. Andrea Dorshin, um, but it's a guy. It looks like A N D R E I. How would you pronounce that? I don't know. Andrea. Probably just Andre. <clears throat> Andre Joe's <clears throat> Dorshin. Anyways, this motherfucker. Um, I guess they they somehow can con their way into be like, well, we can do the vaccines too. We made these face shields. We can help give vaccines. <laughs> what make the vaccines? <laughs> We no, made a not fake make vaccine, but distribute vac- them, distribute, like give them to people, inoculate uh, people. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, the are they qualified to? Fucking I mean, you, do you that? think you'd have to no. kind of be trained for that, right? No, they're What's not to, at all. to stab somebody in the shoulder and plunge. I mean, yeah. it's, it, no. no, I want the person that's doing that to me to at least fucking yeah, know what they're doing. Yeah, have been lobotomy, shown right? a video on that how to do well. it. <laughs> Like, they should at um, least have a training video. I mean, experience. Jesus Christ. Isn't that phlebotomy, they call it? That's or, taking the blood. No, I think that's taking, taking the, the blood. Yeah, that's taking the life oh. juice out of I your body. I think pharmacy tech gives you shots. Well, um, yeah. I mean, it's dumb training. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Training. It's, it's, not like, hard. Uh, it's not a hard thing. Just, just like I want the person at McDonald's <laughs> to have exactly. some training yeah. on how to make my goddamn Big Mac. The food that's so, making the Big Mac has, a fucking, has watched a video. Yeah, this know. came out um, from Philadelphia <laughs> Magazine. Uh, reported the executive team lacked anyone with a medical degree or advanced degree in public serious? health. serious? Dorshin himself fucking listed a resume that included stints teaching a high school film class, oh producing videos God. of people longboarding, and practicing parkour. Holy <laughs> and fucking founding shit. a nonprofit. Oh, parkour! That Philadelphia <laughs> magazine said mostly consisted of a meme-heavy Twitter account, some minor community lobbying, and a fundraising goal of $50,000 that netted 684 <laughs> And wow, so thousand? no, just dollars. Yeah, like it got exposed <laughs> that this um fucker may have even like you know stolen uh vials of vaccine for himself, even. Um, and then they they switched their they were a non profit status, and then they like right in before uh, or like as they're getting started, they're just like, oh, we're gonna switch our, our status now to for profit. And oh my god, I guess. There was like <laughs> they overheard, um, or there was chatter yeah. of amongst these the, the you know the executive board of this uh, Philadelphia fight in COVID. They're like, we're gonna be rich. And we're gonna charge. Basically, we're getting all these vaccines for free, but we're gonna then bill the shots to the insurance companies. We're gonna like so bragging about how rich they're gonna get. Jesus. So Stephanie oh, says right. something about a Chick Fil A manager being called in to help. Oh my God! What the? Does anybody know fuck? about that? <laughs> a Chick Fil A manager. manager? Yeah, she says, please, she says, she brings up the Chick fil A manager. Uh, yeah. In Call to help. I don't, yeah, so. Oh, my God. That's what she, she says. I, I can go ask this her. Is, room at, that's maybe. That's a uniquely American. This, this is, is the story. most ridiculous shit I've ever heard well, of. Well, and yeah. that's, um, yeah, it's just like, uh, basically, they've, you know, the city has now, like, come out and been like, oh, we're uh, totally, like, we're not no longer doing anything with this uh, group. Yeah, our, uh, our well, also, they're the, uh, our hands another thing clean. they forgot, uh, they also had the <laughs> uh, waiver forms that these senior citizens were signing. Um, in the lang- legal language, it had uh, it basically waived their right for them to be able to sell that their personal information to third parties for data. And they did that anyway? I don't know if they actually did sell the data, but it was in their their language. That, did they like, just they steal could. everybody's fucking social security number? <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. God man. What the fuck? Yeah, like this guy, like whatever, you know, some probably 
uh, you know, young, naive, like, I'm so fucking smart and, like, running this nonprofit. I 3D printed these nobody, face shields. It's because he grew up and nobody ever told him no. Right. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> you can do anything you want. I'll just make some fucking face shields right. and stab people in the arm. These, I'll get these free <laughs> vaccines <laughs> from the government and then I'll charge the insurance company for doing the work. It's, right. Yeah. Here's, I mean, here's the question. Where do you get the needles? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. yeah he, Oh, I, I just <laughs> went down to the fucking uh, the Narcan yeah. clinic and picked up some right. dirty yeah. needles right. from the dispenser. Up a bunch under the under the bed, <laughs> the dock. Okay, she put it. She put it in the in the yeah. thing here. No, right. there's a reason for um becoming uh, uh switching to a for profit. They're like, oh, we needed to switch for profit for it was necessary for scaling up the operation. Oh my! It's just like one of those fucking bu- those business buzzwords, you know, scaling yeah. up. Yeah, it was scalable when it was for profit. Yeah, it's, yeah, that right? has nothing to do with it. But okay. Oh <laughs> man, the uh, the organization of this at the local level has been astounding. How fuck. God help yeah. us if there's ever like yeah. a nuclear attack or something. Yeah. Yeah. Can you oh, imagine yeah. if it was like a full fucking like like I don't know Jerry Bruckheimer outbreak type oh, situation? I was just watching the know? remake of the crazies and you oh, know, the yeah. government comes in and like basically rounds the whole town up, you know, because they're up, like, yeah. Yeah, they're gonna like nuke them, weren't they? And it's like um they you know, they got the whole fucking medical tent and stuff, and it's just like yeah. they're fucking not putting out the ones who were infected or whatever and it's just like jesus fucking christ they pulled this off in like a matter of two days and it's like we're still like waiting on medical supplies and shit (laughs) yeah there's no way we survive a zombie apocalypse all right so uh next up we have me with marjorie (laughs) taylor green who is a representative in georgia Dirty and this is a crazy ass fucking QAnon conspiracy theorist person that is in our fucking government. A video surfaced yeah. of her following this David Hogg, who is one of the survivors of the Parkland shootings in uh, Parkland, Florida, claiming that it was a false flag attack organized by George Soros. She's harassing this kid. Um, and there are other incidents where she's like call, calling for the executions of like all these other political figures or whatever. Okay, fine. If you are a private citizen, I don't give a fuck if that's what you're doing. Honestly, whatever. You can be a QAnon supporter. I don't, I don't give a shit. You can't be a goddamn state representative. Okay. This is right. ridiculous. People voted her in. Jesus Christ. Christ, what are you thinking? This is the thing is they had a actual she had a um the Republican Party had a challenger, you know, like a party challenger Mm -hmm. running against her in the primary and she still beat him. Like is her district just that that fuck shit in it crazy? Where which she's from was it Colorado, right? I don't know if she's from. Well, she's in Georgia. That's where she's a Oh, oh it's Georgia the George. She's a Georgia. Yeah. yeah. So it's probably some podunk fucking ass. Yeah. Has thirteen thousand people in the county well, or some shit. You know what I mean? Right. And twelve thousand eight hundred of them are. Well, it's a district that like was going to be Republican either way. It's gerrymandered right. into it, but right. She beat out the. Um, you know the institutional Ooh, Republican. What more did you learn about yeah, the congresswoman? She crazy them. Yeah. Well, that's the the Republicans are gonna have a Sarah hard Palin time. Style. They're right. They're right back to suckling on Trump's tit, mm-hmm. and you know they're all fucking folding back in that cupboard. Uh, oh, we can't. We Stop can't. Uh, we can't impeach no, president. No, He's no, no longer president anymore. And I mean, the Democrats better just keep their shit together because I don't know how they're gonna be able to formulate around anyone trump won't let anyone run but him you know that <laughs> yeah 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 and like do uh, they really think they're gonna be able to pull off another trump run even if if they don't I pull they off try. A, god I help hope them. they try. try but god i hope they fucking try it'll be funny right like um 
I mean, God, I hope it isn't close, though. God, yeah. I would think how fuck. God, think if he did win, and I wouldn't put it past. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't put it past America. Oh, yeah. I, fucking hate, uh, I hate us. God, we... <laughs> Come on. Oh, All right. God, be... Last up, we have Teddy oh, with J.K. Rowling Strife. Okay. Okay. So, uh, I uh, I've been uh, hearing about this series that's coming to HBO Max. It's a fucking stop. God damn it. Can you ask him doing something? Uh, he's wrestling uh, Harry, with his dog right now. Yeah, Harry Potter miniseries uh, that's coming, uh, but people don't want J.K. Rowling to be a part of it, and it's it's funny because it's based off her IP. So yeah. why, you know, she created the world. Why would she not be? Um, uh, some people say she'll turn it into Fantastic Beasts. <laughs> what I'd never what was books, wrong with so Fantastic? So, I, I don't know. I, 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 never, yeah. I thought I they never were read the books. I thought the movies were decent though. Uh, it's uh, so, <laughs> but um, again, again, she created it. So right, yeah, she. That's the thing, man. It's I don't know. It just makes no sense to well, me. Well, yeah, that's like asking, uh, um, you know, like when the they made Bohemian Rhapsody, like oh, the remaining members of Queen, like well, they shouldn't be involved. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Or, or anybody, you know, exactly like, like George R. R. Martin. Yeah. Right. You don't get any say in fucking Game of Thrones. How you can know? you? Like, what? How can you? Where have we arrived in this society, in this culture where there are people <laughs> that are disillusioned enough to think that here's this thing that was an international sensation that yeah. are the biggest books in fucking history. And now you somehow have have the right to it and the person that created it yeah, no it's, longer has the right to yeah it. it's being self-centered yeah. it's insane. shit doesn't it's, it's shit doesn't fucking it's not always about you felicia you exactly, know what i mean right yeah, it's, it's mm -hmm. as simple as that what like, mm -hmm. this is, you don't have to consume the media right you don't have right. to watch it yeah you don't like it you don't, don't even have to say anything about like it. When, like when Married with Children was on air and those fucking moms tried to get legislation passed to fucking move the yeah, time slot it. and shit because, oh, my kids are watching it. Well, then don't let your fucking yeah. kids watch it, you dumb uh, bitch. How about parent your, your children? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the fuck? <sighs> anyway. Well, there you have it. We're done. That's it. In all seriousness, go fuck yourself. Dumb shit, fucking hillbillies. <laughs> <laughs> Dumb shit, Wherever hillbillies. Mar Mar Marjorie Taylor Green is from. Right. Fucking get um, it together. Uh, you could do whatever cups. the fuck you want. Just come on. That's that's ridiculous. That's our show. We're gonna be here here every Wednesday or Thursday night at 10 p.m. Central. Make sure you join the conversation at theredeyereport.com of other content we have shirts and other merchandise there check it out or facebook.com slash red eye report pop socket i always get compliments uh, on the pop uh, socket pop socket you can also twiddle us i at... can't can't put one on my phone because it folds Ooh. Yeah. what the pop socket oh, cool. red eye oh, yeah, yeah, how report. small does it fold you can't even fit a pop socket on it it's, it's it folds to be smaller than my wallet it, it, it pops like it would be very uncomfortable uh, on it. That's what she said. <laughs> Why wow. would she right. say that a pop socket? It pops like on my ass. Scare us or fuck us. We're down for whatever. I'm Oracle. I'm Mystic. Uh... Yeah, y'all always let the black man be last, but I'm cool with it. Fuck you, white folks. I'm Teddy. And this you is like the red eye report. Last. I do like being last. It's, it's uh, I don't understand why y'all have to rush to, to get your names out. I mean, it's it's has your because uh, we.